Here to introduce our next honorees this evening is Joya Johnson. Joya serves as Chief Legal Officer, General Counsel, and Corporate Secretary to Haynes Brands Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Joya Johnson. Well, <clears throat> what an exciting night. I, I don't have the gift of extemporaneous speaking, so I'm going to speak from my notes wrong. Um, <clears throat> And I have to just say, congratulations, George. Oh, thank you, George. I am so thrilled and proud um, this night because you all should know the inside joke. <clears throat> Actually, it's more of a coincidence than a joke, which is that I've worked for many years with all of this year's nominees. And it's just, a, it's just, so wonderful to be here and celebrate the outstanding accomplishments of each of them in the community. So congratulations, George. It's a privilege to be here and see you honored this way. But I'm here today <clears throat> to speak about and introduce my friends. So I'm going to be here for a minute because I got three of them. <laughs> Donata Major, Jerome Russell, and Michael Russell. I have to say that the College of Business couldn't have chosen three better people to exemplify the full breadth of community-based entrepreneurial achievement. The whole family has this entrepreneurial gene. Some of you may know that Herman J. Russell Sr. was among the first members of the Hall of Fame. Ron Sam Martin mentioned that and was in 1985. In reading about this honor, I was struck by the fact that this is not just any entrepreneurial hall of fame. Georgia State as a college, as a business school, as an institution, has always been about serving the community. As you've heard, this recognition is not just for being an outstanding entrepreneur. In order to qualify for this prestigious honor, these people must have made a positive impact on society, above and beyond the realm of business, and they must be able to serve as a role model for young people. So let me start with Donata, the oldest of the three siblings. Sorry, Dee. <laughs> Donata Russell Major is the CEO of Concessions International, which is a national food and beverage operator for concessions and full service restaurants in major airports across the country. Also on the board of that company, she's been an integral part of the business for more than 25 years, working effectively to build partnerships with airport authorities and other food and beverage operators along the way, and giving opportunities to hundreds of young people over the years to learn about hard work, responsibility, accountability, and achievement through their early employment with her company. A very smart woman who achieved her undergraduate degree from the Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania, Donata is a resourceful problem solver. Her ability to identify and solve for the most critical drivers of success is remarkable. Fortunately for us, Donata has given of her time and talents to many nonprofit organizations in Atlanta. You can read about them in your programs, although I will highlight that Donata serves as president of the Herman J. Russell Foundation, a family foundation specifically focused on providing financial support for programs, promoting entrepreneurship, youth development, and mentoring. Donata's generous spirit is what sets her apart from so many other entrepreneurs who have achieved many things over their lifetime. Knowing her the way I do, I can tell you that Donata will give you her last dime if she thinks that'll help you. I've seen her so many times inconvenience herself for other people. Interestingly, the admission statement for Robinson College of Business states that the school values being able to understand, quote, how individuals, organizations, governments, and markets efficiently interact to enhance social well-being, close quote. Through her work with Concessions International, her collaboration with governmental entities, 
her nonprofit service, and her selflessness. Donata has enhanced the social well being of people in many communities across the country, and especially in Atlanta. She's a mentor and inspiration to many people, many of whom are young people who need just a little support and encouragement to gain the confidence they need in order to succeed in school or in life. Herman Jerome Russell, Jr. actually attended Georgia State University. He graduated in 1985 with an undergraduate degree in business administration and management, which he immediately put to use. After some time in the beverage industry, Jerome began to enhance his interest in real estate actually embraced that interest, where his father made such a mark. Over time, he rose to become president and chief operating officer of H.J. Russell and Company, a company most people know in Atlanta as an integrated real estate firm founded by Herman Jerome Russell, Sr., and the largest minority-owned construction firm in the country. Jerome's strength as an entrepreneur has been his ability to see what's possible in our community. With Jerome's leadership, several residential, real, retail, and mixed-use communities have been conceived, usually in urban areas that are challenged by the nature of historical lines drawn or judgments made about what communities will or will not be. Jerome also knows how to bring people together, which we know is an important trait of entrepreneurs. One of the core beliefs of the Robinson College of Business is crossing boundaries. That's something Jerome does very well. And for that, he uses a multidisciplined set of skills I have no doubt he developed in part from his education here at Georgia State. Like his sister, Jerome has complemented his professional contributions to the community with service. He's been a board member of several organizations but he's most enjoyed working with organizations supporting the further development of business in Atlanta. And he serves on several corporate boards, including his own. Jerome is a strong role model for Georgia State students and other young people. Michael Russell is the youngest of the three siblings, but he has in no way rested on the laurels of his father or his older sister and brother. Michael was elevated to his current position as chief executive officer of H.J. Russell and Company because Michael's father felt that his talents were best suited to take the company to the next level. Having worked with Michael, I can tell you that he's a lifetime learner. Learner, excuse me. As an entrepreneur, Michael's not the one who jumps to conclusions or excludes a contrary point of view. He's the one to He's not the one to pursue the shiny object over here or avoid bad news over there. He's the entrepreneur who will leave with maturity and charm beyond his ears, building high-functioning teams, setting clear expectations, making a point to understand what each individual brings to the table supporting them when needed, and holding them and himself accountable for results. One of the core beliefs cited in the Robinson College strategic plan is that value is created by empowered individuals and teams. There's value in organizations that, quote, enable individuals or teams of individuals to pursue and achieve their person and pr personal and professional goals, close quote. A graduate of the University of Virginia, Michael lives that value even though he didn't attend Georgia State. Through his confident but engaging leadership, employees of H.J. Russell and Company feel empowered to try new things and work hard to achieve individual and team goals. Michael, too, spends a lot of personal time in the community, and he has a personal interest in health care, serving on the boards of several health care-related organizations, including Grady Hospital Corporation. As a part of the second generation of Russell entrepreneurs, Michael has inspired 
and will continue to expire, inspire many people to excel in business and in life, just like his dad before him. J. Mack Robinson was known as an entrepreneur, but he was also known as one of Atlanta's finest citizens. And I can tell you that all four of this year's inductees, George McCarrow Jr., Donata Russell Major, Herman Jerome Russell Jr., and Michael Russell, are four of our finest citizens. Ironically, they've all built on the legacy of their fathers. And in this 100th anniversary year of the College of Business, we can feel great about their being able to continue the legacy that J. Mack Robinson built for this community. Please join me in watching a short video highlighting the career and achievements of Donata, Jerome, and Michael. Among the nation's most influential families, the Russells spearhead one of the country's largest minority-owned enterprises. It all began with a plot of land purchased by Herman Russell in 1946. I'm a great admirer of Herman because he started with $150 that he bought a piece of land and built a house on when he was a teenager. And he rented that house out to have some money to go to Tuskegee Institute. Of course, the venture he had started surpassed anything imagined. For over 70 years, Herman Russell has expounded upon his entrepreneurial spirit, building an empire worth well over $300 million. Today, his children, Donata, Jerome, and Michael, have grown to embrace the name, legacy, and work ethic adding a new chapter to the H.J. Russell and & Company and Concessions International Enterprises. In 2003, Michael Russell succeeded his father as CEO, embracing the growth of H.J. Russell and & Company and pushing it to the next level. As President and Chief Operating Officer since 1995, Jerome Russell serves as the company's visionary for strategic direction and new business development. For over 20 years, Donata Russell Major has played a vital role in Concessions International's daily operations and management of over 1,000 employees. Each of the members of the family have been brought up to not only receive the blessings of their father and mother, but to pass those blessings on to the other aspects of the community and to people who are very much in need. I will tell you that in this day and age, humility and integrity are components that are absolutely critical to survival in business. These children, in their own respects, all carry these qualities day in and day out. Michael is very steady, Michael is very deliberate, and Michael is educated as an engineer. Jerome is very entrepreneurial. He loves people, he loves meeting people, and therefore he is the quintessential salesperson. Donata is always there with a smiling face, her regal charm that gives people a sense of, of ease. In addition to imparting traits and skills vital to business, Mr. Herman Russell taught his children the importance of family and sticking together. The way I know the Russells is that classic story we were all taught when we were young, you never know who you might meet and how many times your paths might cross. Well, I go back to 1974. A friend of mine's like Donata. Jerome was 12 and, Jerome, and uh, Michael was nine. Now, when we walked in the house, my friend and I, Mr. Russell, I saw out the corner of my eye, look at Michael and Jerome, and he did this. Like, you know, watch them while they're here with your sister Donata. But they both sat in the living room with us the entire time with their arms crossed, looking like Gary Coleman, like, uh, what you talking about, Willis? And they just watched us the whole evening, and that was a very short visit. And I told my friend, I don't know why you're even bothering, man, because um, Mr. Russell's got an eye on you, and so does his sons. As family bonds grew, generational values and work ethics began to follow. Then in 1977, I was renting an apartment and lo and behold, who did I rent an apartment from but Mr. Russell. 
I had to call for some service one day and these two guys came. By then, Michael was 12 and Jerome was 15, but they had on fake mustaches looking like the utility men. Now, I'm not saying it was them, but I swore I saw Mr. Russell sitting in the parking lot doing this to them like I'm watching y'all work. So again, they might've been just some guys who look like them, but I think they were our uh, maintenance men in our apartments. And by the way, Mr. Russell, when I moved, I hadn't given my new address. I never did get my security deposit of $240. And 36 years later, by my calculations, you owe me $2,362, Mr. Russell. I've known the Russell family since I was a little girl, and that was over 50 years. We grew up together and played together and babysat one another's families. Danaya and I are each oldest children in our families, and I think there's a very natural sense that each of us should take care of our siblings, that we should take care of our parents, our ultimately our communities and our families at large. When she went to college, I'm not sure she knew exactly what she wanted to do. Uh, I think that she was absolutely clear that she could succeed anywhere because we had come through a very difficult time in high school. It was the height of integration and we made it through to the other side. So no matter where she studied or what she encountered in life, she was very clear that she was very blessed to have an extraordinary education, that she had a loving family, but that she had responsibilities to give back. Donata's always been like a Southern Belle very uh, polite, very well-spoken, proper. She still calls me Mr. Moody, even though we're not much difference in age. Even when we were young, hello, Mr. Moody, that's Danada always. Michael Russell is a wonderful person, but I remember him as a little boy, just being as rambunctious as you might imagine. He was very inquisitive, but he was also extremely sensitive. That continues today. I served as a babysitter then, I serve as a big sister and a colleague today. We worked at Grady Hospital to help turn around the Level 1 Trauma Center for Metropolitan Atlanta. He was one of the first to come to Grady's rescue when it was about to close in 2008. He serves on the board today, and I had the privilege of helping to raise money to support Grady. Jerome, I thought this was for Michael Russell. Jerome, really? No, I'll do it anyway, it's all right. I'll tell you one funny Jerome story is, uh, that sticks out for me is, he and I are both uh, members of a club, Young Presidents Organization, and uh, many years ago, uh, we took a trip to St. Bart's on a boat, and my wife Kimberly and Jerome and Stephanie, we went to a restaurant to eat very early, it must have been 5.30, 5.45, walked in the restaurant totally empty, not a person in there, and the maitre d' said he couldn't take us because they were full. And uh, I said, there's nobody in here at all. He said, well, you know, we have reservations, people coming. We argued with him for a while, but we eventually walked out, and when we were walking out, I said to Jerome, you see, prejudice is alive and well everywhere. He said, yeah, you're right, but I just can't figure it out. I said, what can't you figure out? He said, How'd they know you were Jewish? That's kind of the relationship between me and Jerome. In all seriousness, JR, I love you. I want to tell you I think it's great and congratulations. Congratulations to you, Danada, Michael, and Jerome. Congratulations, and I know your mother is very, very proud of all of you. Oh, by the way, when Michael and Jerome sit in meetings now, their feet actually touch the ground. And if you really want to see something funny, ask Jerome to dance. It's something to see. Anyway, guys, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. And Mr. Russell, I do want my uh, deposit back. You still owe me that money. To the Russell family, congratulations on being inducted into the 29th anniversary J. Mack Robinson College of Business Hall of Fame. You rock. Janeda, Jerome, and Michael, we salute you. Well, as Joya said, I am 
the oldest sibling, so I get the honor of kicking us off this evening, and we're all going to try to be brief because we know that we are in between you getting out of here, so it won't take long. First, I want to thank Dean, Dean Huss and also Diane Moore, who's worked so tirelessly on this event. I don't know where she is, but thank you, Diane. And I'm sure there are I'm sure there are countless others who've worked behind the scene to make tonight happen, and we thank you also. It is really an honor for our family to be inducted into the J. Mac Robinson's College of Business Hall of Fame, especially in this centennial year for the college. <clears throat> the truth is, the three of us were blessed to be the children of Otilia and Herman Russell, who provided us with a loving home where we were taught the importance of hard work, honesty, and respect for your fellow man. That type of parenting, combined with a diverse and solid family enterprise, gives Michael, Jerome, and I the unique opportunity to stand in front of you today to accept this honor. So I have to express first my deep love and appreciation to my parents. First, my father, Herman Russell, who's sitting over here. And <laughs> and also to my mother, who I'm sure is looking down from heaven tonight. I also want to just give a quick thanks to all of the video participants. Uh, Ambassador Young, Lisa Borders, who was at Westminster with Joy and I. Joy and I go back to the early 70s at Westminster, and Lisa was there also. So we've all grown up together, experienced life together, and it really is an honor to have both of them participate in tonight's program. Uh, Dave Moody, Ernest Greer, and Joel Babbitt, of course. And finally, to all of the employees of Concessions International and H.J. Russell and Company who really make our job easy. They are the ones who push us. Our father always said that it's more important to have smart people around you, to help some people smarter than you around you to help you do what you do. And certainly, I know that I wouldn't be as successful at Concessions, and I know Jerome and Michael wouldn't either without the support of many who are in the audience. Um, we'll wait and ask them to stand <laughs> towards the end. And finally, um, I'd like to acknowledge my boys, Zane and Emmanuel, who are in the audience tonight. They decided to hang out with their mom tonight, and I thank them for that. They really are, <laughs> they are my uh, part of my inner circle, and all of the other people that are sitting at my table tonight, my cousin Fenitra, who is the sister I never had, my Aunt Marva, my mother's sister, who is my mother now that my mother has gone on to glory, my good friend Julie, who has been my friend for years and years, uh, Michael Davis, who is my son's best friend, so he's continuing the tradition that I've had with my friends, and last but not least, my special friend, Mike Ross, who has brought more joy into my life than he will ever know. So thank you to all of you for being here tonight. And uh, I'm going to pass it to Jerome. Yeah. All right. okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, first, I just want to thank God for all the blessings that we have here first. So thank you. Um, George and I sat next to each other, and um, um, we was like, I'm getting nervous. I said, I got nervous when I saw the cards here. <laughs> so uh, he motivated me. So George, at first I want to thank you, George, for uh, a wonderful award and your, your kind words and, and that you, you, you provided. I want to thank my wife, who's down here, Stephanie. Stephanie's my... <laughs> Biggest fan, but she also will speak her mind to me. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, Stephanie. Uh, I want to also thank my family. You know, we are family business, and there are many family businesses that are not family. But we have the blessing of being a family business that's a family. And I'm just so thankful for that, that, that the native Michael, 
my father, all our family members that we can work together. Because there are many, again, family businesses that can't, that are dysfunctional families. And I'm just <laughs> so thankful for, um, for that. Um, so that's, that's uh, one. Uh, my, our, our, um, there are a lot of friends here. Um, business associates, personal friends. Um, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for you being here to share this with our family and with my brother and sister. I want to thank Georgia State for considering us here tonight and, and um, honoring us for this great award. And all I want to leave you with is kind of what George said, just make a difference every day. We're just here for a period of time and try to uplift and inspire others as you're out there, because that's really what's going to make the difference. So thank you. All right, good evening. Um, a couple of things. Jerome, we're dysfunctional, too. OK, but we, you know, but we get it done, though. We get it done. And uh, I'm the youngest of the crowd, so I'm the, I'm the only one who can read from my iPhone. They can't. <laughs> They can't read from my iPhone, so it's another fact of tonight. <laughs> so two facts. <laughs> two facts. But first, first, let me say one. I mean, you know, the same thing they're saying. I do want to take a moment to, you know, we're here. We represent, you know, the Russell companies and, you know, the, you know just all the things that um, the people who represent, I want them to just stand for a second, you know, just to give them a hand. I know it's a few of our, our team here from Russell and CI. If you all could stand, I'll just appreciate it. Okay. Thank you all. Um, two, you know, we've mentioned my father, Herman Russell. Um, 28 years ago, he was, he was one of the initial honorees. And he hasn't raised his hand. He's kind of slumping back. He, you awake. Hey, Shay, you awake? OK. If you could, if you mind standing for a second so people can acknowledge you? And I certainly don't want to miss his wife, Sylvia. Sylvia, we love you. Thank you for being with him for the last few, last three, five, since five years? Five years. Five, I'm sorry, five years. And thank you for bringing happiness to him, which is important to us. So, so thank you um, for that. So thank you, Sylvia. Um, you know, the only other thing I really need to do and I want to do is, is last but not least is that beautiful lady over there in that red jacket and that red top. Um, she is my wife of um, 21 years and I really thank her for her love, her, her wisdom um, with me and her patience with me uh, over that time. And, I, and she certainly has made me a better person over these last, she, last 21 years we've been married and 25 years that we've known each other. So thank you, Levette, for all you bring to me. And um, with that, I, I want to turn it back over, say good night. Oh, you know, the other thing I wanted to mention, I noticed, I, wanna, I think it's six past honorees in this room, which is w really incredible. I mean, if you guys would please stand from, the, from Mayor Marcel to Pete Carell to uh, Maria Sabora, so I, you know, a number of people I noticed, Eric, so if you all, okay, Jenny Pruitt, so if you guys will please stand, it's, real, it's more than that. It's, so, so thank you all for being here, it's an honor. And, and uh, so with that, you know, I'll say good night, the Russells will say good night and we'll turn it back over to Scott or to, to the Dean, thank you so much.